So Megan, my final question for you is, what three tips do you have for job seekers in order to elevate their job search strategy? Yeah, I think number one is be selective. Um, uh, take your time, find something that really feels right. So instead of looking for a job, look for a connection. We talked about in one of the previous yeah. questions, finding values alignment. Mm -hmm. I think that should be a top priority of this search. Um, number two is to um, do your homework and make a personal connection if possible or where possible with somebody in the company that you're hoping to join. So ask someone for coffee, make a connection on LinkedIn, but do your best to like really sort of get in at that organic uh, personal level. Yes. And then I think the third one would have to be, um, it's easy to say and I know it's tough to do, but to, to not take rejection personally. Yes. So there is, and I'm speaking from the sort of employer side or the decision making side, there's a lot of consideration that goes into the selection process and hiring somebody or yeah. not. And so if you're not selected, understand that there was sort of a lot of other things um, not mm -hmm. personal to you yes. that were contributing to that decision. And so with that, I think it's important for people to be able to sort of just understand that perhaps it's not the right time for them. Timing mm -hmm. plays a big part and that um, they can move on with their heads held high and sort of gracefully on yeah. to the next thing. And as you mentioned in previous video, the candidate experience, if they like the experience, they can come back another time and applying for a job. Sure. And in the second tip, I would say that ju don't just send requests on LinkedIn. Yeah, Set yeah. a personal message, yes. you know. I saw your profile, we go to the same school or we're doing the same thing, I like to connect. I think that that will also help because as you know, we always get all this net, all this connection request yes. left and right and then we, we try to understand, okay, what there is, you know, it's a mutual relationship. So yes. I feel that sending a networking request with a message helps uh, job seekers to know so that they can have uh, an understanding with the person applying. It. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think I'd add to that one step further, which is, um, be persistent. Obviously, don't be annoying, <laughs> yeah. but be persistent. And, and it, I'll, I'll use myself as an example. It works on me. We, we all get so busy and um, often it takes one or two times for someone to reach out in order to gain the attention of the people that they're trying to gain. And then th I think that there's this sort of innate thing in us, which is this law of reciprocity. Yeah. So when someone reaches out to you and they give you their time and they do it on multiple occasions, it means they really care about what, yes. um, making that connection. And so very um, naturally, I'm inclined to care back. Yes. And so I think that's really important yeah. too, yeah. Yeah, and with that, Megan, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you those questions. My pleasure. And for the audience watching, uh, if you have any other tips in terms of uh, tips to job seekers, please again leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, reach out to us, to our social networks, and tune in next time for another great interview. And with that, thank you, Megan. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.